young and I can't be stopped. Hello guys. So little unplanned video, but I'm actually really excited because my parents finally allowed me to get collarbone piercings. So oh my god, it's amazing. I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous. Like this entire day, I was just so nervous. I couldn't believe it. But I'm really excited. We're walking there now with my friends, so moral support. Yay! <laughs> Anyways, now to the actual piercing. So, I am back home. Four hours, I think, have passed since I got these done. And they are pretty okay. Like, they don't hurt that much. I was expecting them to hurt a lot, lot more. Like, they're here, they're still covered up. And they're gonna be covered up for like three more days. So, I'll just uh, pop in a picture of when I clean them so you can see how they look. But yeah, like, honestly, I was expecting them to hurt so much more. Um, the first one I got like was fine, and then like the second one hurt a little bit more. But I think it's she said because the skin was thinner. But also, of course, the second one, so you like you have pain there. But yeah, it was it was surprisingly good, and I'm really happy about it. Like, like I did it. Like I have dermals, and like what? <laughs> I am so happy about it. Like. Oh my god, I'm so excited, so happy. But uh, yeah, so um, the morning and the next day, and they are well. I still gotta keep them bandaged. I don't know if you can see it because I can't see behind the camera, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep them bandaged for like, three or four more days. But I think I'm gonna keep them bandaged, for, bandaged during the night the entire week, so seven days, because I move around a lot, so I'm scared that's gonna like move these. But yeah, so last, last night when I cleaned them, it was really bloody, there was a lot of blood, and and like both of the, the band-aids were soaked with blood, and then when I cleaned it, there was like, the, the selling solution was like, all bloody and stuff, but it, like, it didn't hurt, it was just a bit bloody, okay, it hurt if like, I touched it, but that's kind of normal, and this morning when I cleaned them, there wasn't like, blood, like, blood blood, but like, but uh, when I put the selling solution on it and like kind of cleaned it with the, the cotton pad, it was bloody. But only like right like, around the piercing, so like right the circle around it. It was no big deal. This, to the last night I slept well, it didn't hurt. I slept on both, like when I slept like this side towards the, this side, <laughs> towards the bed, it was fine, it didn't hurt. I even slept a little bit on my stomach and it didn't hurt, but this part was not touching the bed. I did not want it to touch the bed, obviously. So yeah, it was fine, it was no big deal. Yeah, and another thing that I... I was worried about this also before, but now I got the confirmation. Uh, I can't wear sport bras over these because the, the straps of sport bra is kind of thicker, so it covers it and puts pressure on it and like squishes it down. And that kind of hurts. Like, no bras are fine. I don't know if you can, wait. Let me go where I can see the back of the camera. See, like, they're like, the bra strap is here and the piercings are here. But when I have uh, sport bras, the strap goes over this. And that kind of hurts. So that's the only problem. And it's actually it's a kind of big problem because I work out every day. Yes, I actually worked out. Work out. That's like a miracle. Like, oh my god, I actually do. Okay. <laughs> so that's the only slight problem I have um, 
I haven't worked out yet since yesterday because I was out all day yesterday. But I hope it's not gonna be too big of a problem. I'm gonna try wearing it today and hopefully it's not gonna hurt too bad. I really hope it's not gonna hurt too bad. But yeah, so that's the only issue I have. Right. And yeah, so how I cleaned it or how they told me to clean it, pretty much I have, I'll, I'll show you the products. Um, I use this, which is an antiseptic, is that what you call it? But this is called Octanicept, and it's spray, and I spray it twice a week. So I sprayed it, well she sprayed it yesterday when she got the, when she, when I, bleh, when the piercer put them in. So I'm gonna spray it again in two days now, and then again with, uh, in three days after that. And then I use the saline solution. Um, I use that twice, twice a day for two weeks, and, and that's pretty much it for cleaning. It's really not that like, big deal, and yeah, and everybody likes it. Like I showed my friends, and everybody loves it. My friends don't, but still, I'm happy about them. I'm really happy I did it. <laughs> and when I tell people it didn't hurt that much, everybody's surprised. Just like. Yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you, it didn't hurt that much. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I have nothing else to say really. So if if you're thinking of getting them, go for it. Just uh, do your research beforehand, because I did research for surface piercings, because that's what I wanted to get. Oh yeah, that's another story. Let me get out of the bathroom. Originally, I wanted to get a surface piercing. So it was like, it's a normal, kind of normal like piercings you would get here but the it's a bit bent but uh, the piercer said that it's it's gonna be bad it's gonna like it's gonna get infl inflamed and infected really easily because it's it's a part where it moves a lot like the skin moves a lot and there's the bone so it's not a good idea and then she, and then she was like it's better if you do dermal so I'm like okay the problem was that it was more expensive so like originally I wanted to get a surface here and a surface here, but I only but I didn't have enough money to get four dermals, so I only got two on one side. And I think as soon as I save up more money and if my parents allow me, I'm gonna get the other two on the other side. But yeah, so that's why I got dermals and not surface. But it's fine. And then I did the research last night, so like I know everything about it or a lot of things about it. So I. I, I'm prepared for this now, but yeah, so please like Before you get any piercing or tattoos like do research and make sure you know things and trust your piercer and or tattooist because They know more and please go to like a place that is not dodgy Like please make sure everything is sterile sterile ster sterile sterile that thing, you know like cleaned and yeah because you don't want infections or your skin to get bad or anything, okay? Yeah, so that is all for my dermals. Uh, yeah, so bye's and oh yeah, happy October. Hello, Halloween, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited, I already know what I'm gonna be for Halloween, so yes. Okay, bye.